Hello guys, uh, it's me Sanjay here. Welcome to Panic Solutions and then Warriors Way. And I'm mommy, welcome you all for the series uh, A Masterclass Day 30. And this session is all about the artificial intelligence on hard base. Okay, I hope you guys are super excited for the last day of the session. Yes, guys, we are in the 30th day. Uh, before going on to the session, I would like to thank uh, the participants who are really not coming for only the certificate and who are really not coming for the attendance form, filling up the attendance form. The participant who really attended this session up to this 30th day uh, with uh, having a patience and uh, with having some eagerness towards learning something new. So I would like to thank and I would like to applause, uh, give the great applause for those people who are guys have attended these 30 days, day, uh, 30 days of AI Masterclass. So the people who are out there, you just post, everyone please post applause emojis in the live chat so that uh, it is for each other. So every people who are allowed there who guys have attended a masterclass series up to this 30th day. Okay, thank you so much. And you are really great for attending this 30 days guys. Okay, so please post applause emojis guys. So thank you so much once again. Okay, so before going on to the session, um, I would like to welcome the people present here. So NG uh, uh, Goga Tito, hi, hello. And Belai, hi, and Ayapo, hi, Vindra Kanai, hi, and we are met uh, today, uh, weekly mastermind Vindra. Thank you so much for uh, coming back to the event as well. And Vicky DJ, hi, and Event Solution, hi, and Anas, hi, Samarnath, hi, Shruti, hi, Mohammed, uh, Sakzai, hi, and Yamuna, hi, and um, uh, Pardasar, uh, Parthasar, Parthasar, the hi. And uh, Nestor, hi, Hitesh Kumar Sharma, hi, David Mamo, hi, good to meet you again. And Tularam Mama, good evening Sanjay, I really miss you Sanjay for today's last session. So thank you so much Tularam Mama, I felt really happy by seeing that. But definitely we'll be connected with uh, upcoming lives and ongoing live which is already happening. And Subramanya Bath, hi sir, good to meet you again. And Richa, hi, Elu, uh, hi. And um, Arfat, hi. And Samir, hi, good evening Sanjay and it's great experience, very informative your lessons. And you and your team taken good and effort, great effort. So thankful. Thank you. So, thank you so much, Samir uh, Marathi. And SM Bagre, hi. And Nilesh Panchal, hi. Shweta, hi. Ashish, hi. Pavi, hi. AKFM Kingdom, and Indrani, and Chitralekha, and uh, Cherub, and Mutukumar, uh, and uh, TM Mansur, and Sai Vignesh, Satya Biswal, Roshan Abhi, and uh, Aniket, and Avanesh, Sachin Malaf, uh, Adarsh. Subhash, Oshman 9, and Yaram Teja. Thank you so much, guys. Hello, 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 all. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys are super excited for today's session. So you just look out it here, what I'm here, what I'm having here. So this session is not going to be a practical, but instead I can give you the practical experience by playing out the videos, YouTube video, which we have already worked on some of the hard ways on the field of artificial intelligence. Okay. So here you just see here. Okay. I think it is visible for you now. Okay, I have some of the hard ways which in my hand, which I am already used it. Okay, so here we have NVIDIA kind of hardware and BeagleBone and the Raspberry Pi is missing here. And uh, and here we have Free Speaker and Intel Movidius Neural Compute Stick 2 and cameras and lidars. So these are all the hardware which is out there. So by using the hardware, you can able to deploy uh, artificial intelligence application in a real, real time. So how many of you guys really are having a eagerness to know about these stuffs? Okay, if you are really excited to know about these stuff, you just post. I'm super excited, Sanjay, in your live chat. Okay, so let us go to the session. So before going on to the session, the same as like there is an announcement. So I think announcement is not needed for the 30th day. People who are all really here for only for the learning, I believe. Okay, so let us go, go for artificial intelligence based hardware, guys. So, so first of all, while talking about this AI in hardware, we can able to take in it in the two aspects. For first aspect is, um, for an example, even though your laptop may be called as hardware, but other than that, whenever you are training, okay, so whenever you are building an artificial intelligence application or algorithm, anything, definitely it need a high computational power. So that is the one kind of aspect where we need to go for some kind of hardware which can able to do that kind of high-end performance like uh, GPUs or uh, like like uh, like work uh, work desk or workbench. So 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 some kind of high-end hardware like GPU uh, kind of 
uh, boards or GPU kind of laptops with with the PC or system which is having four GPUs. You just imagine in a PC you can put up a four GPU in a certain single PC which is like a monster, right? So likewise, we used to go for those kind of hardware which is going to be really helpful for doing a training process. So for those purposes, we used to go for it. There is another scenario where we need to go for the deployment. So while talking about the deployment, for an example, like uh, if you want to make your uh, home to be autonomous, uh, uh, autonomous uh, home, smart home or something like that. So whenever you are talking about a smart home, it need to have a lot of applications like automatic uh, room cleaner or uh, face recognition or something like that. Okay. So likewise, if you really having this kind of aspect, which is running in your mind, you can deploy it in a real time by using a uh, certain kind of hardware. So the hardware such as like uh, Raspberry Pi, so, so some kind of hardware, which you can able to use it for artificial intelligence deployment. Okay, so definitely it is going to have different kind of aspects like more computational power and cost efficiency and cloud and edge computing, faster insights, new materials, new architectures. So we are going to use different kind of hardware for a purposes like one purpose is which is going to be helpful for developing the artificial intelligence application and another aspect to create or to deploy artificial intelligence application. Okay, here we have different kind of solutions like tensor processing unit, uh, Nirvana, uh, IQ, Epiphany, Media2. There are a lot of uh, popular AI hardware solutions which is out there. While talking about the some of the development boards on artificial intelligence, guys. First, I'm introducing you to the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. Actually, I'm telling you this NVIDIA Jetson Nano production has been stopped now. Okay, we got a call from uh, NVIDIA that they told like uh, this. Uh, NVIDIA Jetson Nano, this hardware production which has been stopped. Okay, I don't know whether they are going to launch it back again or whether they are having some other plan. But this production which has been stopped here. So, so this is also a very popular and very easy hardware which you can be able to use it for artificial application. Why I'm talking about this because it is similar like a Raspberry Pi where it is like kind of like a mini PC where it will have some SD card slot which is present in it. So that you can dump operating system into it and other than that here we have if here it has Jetson uh, boards like and also it is having some USB ports for camera uh, kind of USB camera or any USB kind of LIDAR or any kind of interface can be done with the help of USB ports and Ethernet ports for uh, providing you the internet facility. And here we have power supply ports and here we have 40 GPI opens which can be able to use it for interfacing a robot or a sensor so those kind of stuff which you can able to do with the help of GPI opens. So this is also a very efficient hardware which can able to do it for artificial. Uh, inter intelligence deployment okay it is not suitable for development because uh, training process it is not suitable for training but it is going to be very helpful for testing as well okay so here and another board which is a beagle bone so here i have a beagle bone as well in my hand so this is the beagle bone and uh, a thinker esp32 and uh, sip the uh, mics and the coral this is google's uh, google, google coral development board and Raspberry Pi 4, so and the neural compute stick too, so which is present in my uh, here. Okay, so by using this USB stick, what you can do, do is you can accelerate some of the artificial intelligence performance which is present in your laptop, or you can accelerate the performance uh, of uh, Raspberry Pi kind of hardware. So this is Intel uh, Movidia's neural compute stick too, and Arduino, Portina, and Asus Tinker uh, board and high key development boards likewise we used to have lot of development boards okay so a lot of boards which you can able to use it for artificial intelligence applications so while exploring uh, some kind of hardware which is out there i really want to show some kind of application which we have deployed by using uh, artificial intelligence so if you are really want to know you just post um, uh, fire emojis in the live chat so what you just simply do is you just type uh, YouTube okay so what I'm just going to show is I'm just going to open our channel so here we have worked on a lot of projects so for an example uh, let us type uh, Jetson okay so here we have one kind of objects like Amazon Locker using Jetson and Amazon Locker is nothing but face recognition based locker system 
which it can use uh, face recognition for unlocking the uh, unlocking the what is it unlocking um, the, the 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 like lockers okay Hi, so it may be like based on the address you just see here here we have a monitor and ras jitsun nano which is present here and here we have one locker system which is having a camera so based on the cameras we are going to detect the person's face and with the help of that we are going to open this um, open this conveyor uh, sorry open this uh, draw which is present here okay so this is like a lockup okay so yeah so i i i would like to show the demo for you i'm just uh, technique i'm just explaining the technical explanations okay so let us uh, skip to the demo part Okay, it is opening now. You just see here. So it is just detected like a Vijay. So camera will be opened and it will detect the face and it will recognize the face. So for an example, in this uh, in this locker system where we have three lockers. So first locker is for one person and second locker is for another person and third locker is for another person. So likewise, based on the face, based on the person standing in front of that uh, uh, locker, so it will try to open that specific locker for that certain uh, user. So that is what we have did like real time Amazon Locker by using a Jetson uh, Nano. So this is what the first project which is about by using Jetson Nano for uh, like smart uh, smart uh, locker system. So by using the face recognition where it is going to have high frame rate. So likewise by using Amazon Jetson uh, sorry uh, uh, like sorry Nvidia Jetson uh, Nano for uh, uh, like what is a face recognition and locker because here the locker which is having uh, the motors which is present there the motor which is going to be interfaced with the uh, 40 GPIO pins which is present in that certain application okay so if you really like this project you just post I like uh, one Sanjay in your live chat okay this is the first project which is out there okay and second hardware so yesterday as well I think we guys have already worked on this uh, we have already seen the Raspberry Pi application right so while talking about the Raspberry Pi application uh, yesterday we have seen that Google Pi uh, project which is really super cool where we have that uh, where we have did uh, uh, four different application by deploying deep learning in there cloud in there so so there are a lot of services like Google Assistant services, YouTube Assistant services, and deep learning for object recognition and deep learning for currency recognition. So those kind of artificial intelligence application which we have done on the uh, first project. Okay. So as famous like here we have uh, for electrical application. So for electrical application, this what we have did YouTube here is uh, we have we used uh, what is it? Uh, we okay. just we just used um, uh, what is it? We just used. Um, uh, electrical application for machine learning so machine learning in the sense uh, for an example here we have used smart energy meter okay don't look at me okay so here you just see here smart energy meter which has been done with the help of the machine learning application so what the machine learning will algorithm will do is it will try to find out whether the load is uh, overloaded or whether the power supply is um, uh, normal or is it high or is it in a risk position so based on that it will try to monitor every values and it will apply the machine learning algorithm if it is identified whether there is a power theft which has been done or which has been uh, which is showing like a uh, high power consuming so that kind of scenario if it made a decision it will turn off this light and then bulb automatically so that is what the second application which is about smart energy system which we have deployed so it is showing like power voltage and then current so this is not a specific video but we have deployed it okay here we have used um, iot concept as well to display the results in the web pages so that is what the second project smart energy meter using a uh, raspberry pi so that is what is all about the second project and here we have the power management system so power management is uh, nothing but here we have used for high-end uh, real-time hardware so real-time hardware in the sense you may have you may use air conditioner for it so that's why we here we have included the mcb circuit mcb circuit here so with the help of that we have deployed the same application for uh, high-end uh, or uh, huge power consuming devices like like fan power light power ac power air conditioner power and then we used to upload the data set data into the online clouds like ThinkSpeak and web pages. So these are all the projects we have did in the electrical field. So this is what the second project is about. I hope you're really enjoying it. I hope you really love the second part. So if you really like the second part of this uh, session, you just post, uh, I love it, Sanjay, or I like to Sanjay in your uh, live chat. 
okay so and then while talking about the third project which is about um this one path following robot which is going to be helpful with it is not completely like artificial intelligence where we have deployed uh, the robotic operating system on there so here you just see here in the raspberry pi we have connected this rp lidar so the lidar which is present in me so here i have this rp lidar so here i've used the rp lidar which has been connected with the raspberry pi kind of hardware so where we have deployed robotic operating system into it and we have also used a matlab where it what it will try to do is it will try to identify the path automatically so for an example whenever you are running it first of all so in the autonomous vehicle there are uh, really like three parts first of all path mapping okay path mapping and path planning and then path following so these are the three parts so here whenever you are going to run this first of all it is going to observe or it is going to obtain the map of the room so once it obtained the uh, once it obtained the map of the room then what it will try to do is it will try to uh, ask you to choose the destination where i need to go for an example uh, once the map which has been converted into a binary format so here the mouse pointer will came uh, will will come here so you just want to choose the destination part so once you have chosen the so here i'm just choosing a destination point so once you have chosen the destination part then what it is do is so it will try to do a path planning it will try to plot the map to reach the destination that is known as a path planning once the path planning is done then it will go for the path following where the car will start moving automatically and then finally it will reach the destinations okay so it will go for the certain position and it will tell like i reached the destination so this is what the uh, project which is about the path following uh, robotic car by using a uh, lidar robot and uh, here we have used human following robot which we have done with the help of artificial intelligence application okay so here what we just did is we have just deployed artificial intelligence application to recognize the human being and what the robot will do is it will try to follow the person uh, by using uh, the artificial intelligence application so where what it will try to do is it will try to recognize the person and uh, with the help of by placing the coordinates it will try to follow the person by itself this is the autonomous vehicle application where we have deployed using raspberry pi uh, itself okay so and then uh, another hardware so so other than the jetson and the raspberry pi is there any other hardware yes it is there so the hardware is like a pink fpga so usually uh, fpga both will be compatible with vhdl or very low kind of programming languages but their guys have started using uh, uh, they are manufacturing the development board which is compatible with the python programming okay guys still you guys i hope you really enjoying the session if you are really, really enjoying the session you just post i'm enjoying uh, sanjay in your live chat okay so what it all, what what we have did in here is we have used the moving object detection using uh, python in pink fpga so what we have just did is uh, if you are if you are going to see that project you just see here uh, so what we have just did is so whenever the person is moving on the certain environment it is just drawing a bounding box around the object so that is what we have did in the fpga program and here we have real time edge detection and real time color detection and object recognition so object recognition using python in fpga so those kind of application which we have deployed in this uh, kind of uh, hardware so you just see here okay this is the uh, edge detection where we have that with the help of uh, pink fpga this is also one kind of development boards where you can able to write a python programming for this kind of applications the power of your subconscious mind this is the book which i'm showing in the camera so it is deploying the edge reduction and it is just showing the output okay so and then here we have uh neural compute stick too so what is the thing is whenever you are seeing the frame rate which we are obtaining in the normal uh, raspberry pi so it is going to be completely different whenever you are using neural compute stick too for the application so in this project what we have did is we just accelerated the performance of uh, performance of the raspberry pi or uh, not the performance of the raspberry pi it is the performance of the applications like object recognition application in the raspberry pi by using a neural compute stick too so here if you are looking at sharply so it is recognizing each and every object with with very high frame rate so that kind of frame rate which has been completely accelerated with the help of uh, 
uh, neural compute stick too. So this is what the hardware uh, which we have worked on. Okay, so likewise we used to have lot of development uh, boards or lot of projects which we have worked before, guys. Okay, if you really want that, you can check it out. Our uh, previous uh, YouTube channel where we have worked on uh, where we have worked on lot of projects out there okay so i hope you really enjoyed the session up to now and today i really want to uh, interact with you a lot regarding any technology with those stuff so if you guys have any questions please note on the question or prepare your questions now itself i'm really in the plan of spending nearly like half an hour for to you to only having an uh, uh, engagement towards answering a lot of questions like technological based questions okay i hope you all ready for uh, asking questions okay the people i'm telling you the people who are all raising the questions so those people are going to grow okay those people are not raising the questions definitely they are not going to grow okay so please try to ask a questions no please prepare your question on the q and a you just try to ask a lot of questions to me okay so first of all while talking about the um what is it like a uh, power consumption based uh, factor google coral development boards is there and best flexibility you can get it from jetson nano and cheapest is sip max go and best support which is raspberry pi kind of boards and alternative for raspberry pi 4 you can also use rock pi 4 model b so there are a lot of hard ways okay so here this is the overview of fpga with python sync which i've shown you that is like um age reduction and object recognition also we have did with the help of uh, fpga program so that is the image classification and we have also done moving object reduction by using pink fpga so these are all the projects which we have did in the uh, fpga board and then object recognition using raspberry pi with and then without ncs2 so we have also used two videos one video is object recognition using raspberry pi without a uh, neural compute stick 2 but there is also another video with by using with a uh, neural compute stick 2 okay so likewise we have developed or we have used that uh, project also so you can see the performance comparison between that video versus that video okay with uh, neural compute stick 2 and without neural compute stick 2 so these are all the things which we have explored with the help of um, uh, the artificial intelligence based hardware guys okay and now it's time to interact with me on the uh, like like regarding any technological questions so before that i'm again i'm telling you guys today is the last day and last day and the last batch where the people are having an opportunity to get um, resume building session for free so if you're really interested on building your resume so how to build a perfect resume so for those people what is the main thing what you just want to do is today is the last day last day what you just do is i've given the link in the live chat so you just want to buy any course from us which is artificial intelligence ml plus da the people who are all registering now so those people are going to get that resume building session for free okay what you just simply do is you just click the link and register for the internship so three internship three in one internship yay ML and then data analytics. So three courses at the price of triple nine and get the resume building free one hour session for free. Okay. So please get that guys. Okay. So let us have, or let us interact, start uh, interacting guys. So whatever the question which you have, you just try to ask your questions. Uh, Sai Vignesh Naraguni. Uh, what about Arduino? Arduino that is a uh, kind of like, uh, which is, uh, which is, which is like, what is it? Uh, where uh, which is suitable for normal basic embedded kind of applications like interfacing sensor, sensors or uh, running a motors or building a robot so basic application it can use uh, the disadvantage over in the Arduino is it is not having a camera ability camera capability to work on deep learning kind of application and it is also not going to support a python programming so so these are all disadvantages instead of in the in the in the part of the hardware artificial intelligence and hardware please don't go for that because so there are a lot of options though so you can use the sensors you can interface the sensor to the arduino and you can get the that get those values from the arduino to your laptop and your lab in your laptop you can deploy our artificial intelligence application that is uh, okay that is one way or else if you really want to directly write artificial intelligence application in a certain hardware itself you can go for the hardware like raspberry pi uh, nvidia kind of hardware okay so this is what is all about uh, the arduino so there are a lot of some disadvantages it is not having inbuilt bluetooth it is not having inbuilt wi fi so so only thing is we need to go for additional external add on modules which we need to add it for doing those kind of performance okay um what do gsm arduino and raspberry pi ai do gsm uh 
um uh, like like nowadays gsm is not required at all because nowadays people are moving on to uh, the cloud based sms services so we no need to have uh, the sim card slot we need to put up a sim card and the sim card need to be that module need to support the 4g sim cards because previously we used to face a problem because we have lot of uh, gsm modules in ma- in our store but nowadays it is not supporting uh, the 4g sim cards so there are a lot of problem out there so instead you can simply now you guys are using python programming and iot is uh, iot is possible now so simply you can go for any free sms based services where you can able to send a sms uh, through the what is it through the um, uh, through the through the uh, hardware itself so, so so simply you can go for the sms services you no need to go for the gsm kind of modules okay Uh, Srinivasa, which is the best hardware among FPGA? Raspberry Pi SIC for deploying simply AI project. FPGA is completely different. So on that FPGA, there are a lot of boards which is coming uh, into the field. Uh, each and everything which is not that much user friendly and that much uh, that much support which has been available for those kind of boards. When compared to the hardware support like Raspberry Pi or uh, Nvidia Jetson, it is not that much uh, easy because even though to be frank there are not a pe- not every people are trying to use fpj kind of boards for artificial intelligence application they are really expecting very easy to handle user friendly so for that aspects they simply going for the nvidia kind of hardware or raspberry pi kind of hardware if you really want to use um, fpj you can definitely go for it only the zinc kind of versions uh, on those versions because every this kind of boards which is coming into the field nowadays it is supporting a python where it will it will try to so we need to upload the operating system for the zinc fpga so for an example if you are visiting the official website where uh, zinc uh, okay so zinc uh, for an example let us like uh, like like let us talk about the pink now okay which is also having uh, what is it which is also having a zinc ic which is present in it so while talking about this boards which is having which is which they will provide an operating system uh, operating system separately for it what you just want to do is you just want to burn the operating system into the sd card and you just want to plug the sd card into the pink board and once it is being plugged then it is supportable it is support it is going to support a python so you can use you can open a jupyter notebook directly from this uh, hardware itself so there are a lot of some of the configuration which is out there you need to do and you can write a python programming languages there you can use it too okay so this is the one way okay guys still there are a lot of questions regarding a certificate definitely you will uh, uh get a certificate please please i really want the session to be very interactive regarding uh for, for 50 kind of technologies like lot of technology because people are out there so if the if one person ask asking different kind of question that is going to be delivered to every people who are all in the life okay i really don't want to talk about the certificate and those things i'm repeating again certificate you will get within one to one week or within 10 days definitely you'll get a certificate okay so please don't ask about the certificate instead please try to use this q and a interactive live interactive session very effectively okay okay so anything so venkat babu thank you okay uh, Saranya, how to do video fusion? There are nowadays, there are a lot of online platform which is also there, which is going to be helpful for doing uh, video fusion. So I think I have already watched the demo, which is about uh, surfing. Uh, one person is surfing on the sea. Okay, so the person is surfing on the sea by holding the uh, boats, uh, by, by holding the rope which is tied on the boat. So what is the video fusion is? There is a road which is out there. So the road, the car which is uh, running on the road, the backside view of the car. So what you can do is we can do the fusion of two videos. One video, the person is surfing on the water on the sea, where there is another video where it is a back view of the car of the road. So that is the second video. So what we can do is we can fuse the two video to show the or to to give the output video where the person is surfing on the road. Okay, so that kind of thing. This is also can be done. It is very simple. So uh, thank you so much for asking. Who is that? Ask, who asked the question? That is Saranya Har. Thank you so much for asking that question. I'll try to make one uh, project uh, for that. And I'll try to upload on our uh, closed community. The paid participants definitely I'll add the lectures to that people. So definitely it can be done. So, so one thing is that frame where we need to crop out certain part of the area. Where we need to completely fuse that two parts into a single video. That is the one way. 
and there is also a second way where it is all about the studio camera so what is mean by studio camera is whenever you are talking about one camera so you guys all uh, you all you guys all seeing me right so we can what we can do is we can put up a two cameras one in this end and in the other it's in the this end so if you really want a wide angle of projection if you are building some autonomous car where a single camera is not enough to cover the complete road so if that is the scenario what we can do is we can we need to go for the stereo camera studio stereo cameras in the sense to obtain the frame from the one camera and the second camera to fuse into the single frame so that is also can be done definitely it is possible okay okay there are a lot of questions thank you so much uh dream art uh, can you explain application of nlp application of nlp i think we have uh, already discussed which is about creating a chatbot whenever you are working on the text based data text based analysis uh, Ro, uh rahul win the race so win race so this is the rahul win race this is the very important thing so feature extraction from the text whenever you are working on the text based data whenever you are working on the audio processing so whenever it is based on the languages, then you need to go for the natural language processing because on NLP, we have two parts. One is natural language understanding and natural language um, NLU and then NLG, natural language generation. So by using the to those two concepts, we can work with a chatbot, voice assistant system. So these are the major advantage over of NLP. Okay. Uh, please, Sanjay, uh, uh, can you explain how to implement AI project on Xilinx Zinc? 7000 uh, SOC using MATLAB. Uh, using MATLAB, I'm not sure whether the hardware package is available or not, sir. But uh, definitely we'll check it out. Um, since you have asked, thank you so much for asking that question, sir. Definitely I'll check that out and I'll tell you the answer now itself. Okay. Vijay Badankar, uh, which hardware description language, which is better, Verilog or VHDL? Uh, you can ask these questions to Jeevarajan sir because he is an expert on that. I'm not that much good at it. I just worked on it, very basic stuffs. Uh, I, I think I've used uh, Verilog. Okay, I haven't used a VHDL up to now. I used a Verilog only. Okay, so, so if you're asking to me simply, I'll go for the Verilog. So, um, uh, yeah, so you can ask the, this question to the Jeevarajan sir, definitely. Uh, live is there and weekly mastermind which is going there so you can ask this question but that, anyhow thank you so much for asking that question okay so now we are working on uh, David Mamo sir to check out the hardware packages so this is the MATLAB guys this is MATLAB so here what I'm just going to check it out whether it is having some hardware packages for Xilinx uh, Zinc uh, 7000 series. Uh, deep learning HDL toolbox. Yes, I think some of the thing which is available. So deep learning HDL toolbox. I think it is uh, somewhat there, sir. But uh, I really want to check it out. Whether what kind of boards which is out there for 7000 series. For Zinc platform, there are a lot of things which is out there, but uh, I think we need to check it out uh, here. Yes. So, yes, sir. Yes. So, thank you so much, uh, David Mamo, sir, for asking this question. So, here there is an answer. So, embedded coder support package for Xilinx Zinc platform. So, generate code for ARM portion of Zinc 7000 series as you have asked, SOC. So, here you just, first of all, you just install it, sir. You just go for install and then install now. So, here it is having some support and for it. Okay, so you just click install and you just download it and you just look for the documentation for it and you can check that out. Okay, sir. So I think you guys, uh, you uh, you really like this, sir. Okay, if you really like it, you just post, I like this, Sanjay, in your live chat, sir. Okay, thank you so much, uh, David Mamo, sir, for asking this wonderful question. Okay, thank you so much. Even though I also got some idea about using uh, uh, 
uh, using Zinc uh, 7000 series by using a MATLAB. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Fakim Khan, please share your journey up to now. Okay, definitely I'll share uh, my journey towards up to now. Okay. Yes, yes, definitely I'll share my journey up to now. Okay. So while talking about the journey, uh, first of all, I started working with Pantech Solutions my, from my uh, second year of my college, I think, second year holidays or third year holidays. So where uh, on the time I really got completely interested on, from my 12th uh, standard itself, I'm really very much interested on brain computer interface technology. On the time, I can't even able to touch the device even. So after I got, uh, after I gone for the college, uh, my second year holidays or third year holidays, I uh, got an internship with the Panic Solutions. I done an internship with the Panic Solutions where I just started working on a MATLAB and I started working on a brain computer interface technology where I've started or where I've completed my first project on my third year. The project was Blink Talk using uh, MATLAB by using a brain computer interface technology that is what my experience where i touched that uh, brain sense device at the first time because previously uh, i don't have that much guts to ask uh, i really need that device even i can't able to uh, purchase that because it is 8000 on the time so uh, because it is 12000 or 12000 or 15000 on the time i can't able to own it uh, so so uh, once i gone for the internship once i started doing on internship I got an opportunity to work on that uh, brain computer interface, that brain sense device, where I started working on brain computer interface technology with uh, MATLAB. Uh, so where we have, where I've developed our first project uh, in my uh, that time. So and then what I just did is I just um, and on my college days I started working on uh, some kind of like most over it will be like brain sense and then MATLAB. I completely I used my college days and my final year project is also. Uh, four in one uh, brain computer interface based MATLAB project. So that is my final year works, which we have that. And then after that, I started working on embedded system and then Internet of Things, where I've just used, started working on uh, basic microcontroller like 805 and, and, um, and ARM, very little bit. And uh, I just started working on uh, like Arduino kind of basic boards. And um, yeah, so that is what embedded system and then IoT. And then parallelly at the time I started studying for uh, like like this uh, data science program, like artificial intelligence under that. Here I started studying uh, the concepts like, um, uh, what to say, like Python programming, statistics and machine learning, deep learning. I started studying for it. And the time I didn't work on the hardware. So that is what uh, I, I'm studying on the parallel, like a basic artificial intelligence application. But, and after that, I still got interested to work on the hardware itself because whenever we used to work on only software, it is like a software programming. Since I'm from the electronics and communication engineering EC background, I really wanted to work on the hardware where they have given the task uh, for me to work on the hardware like Raspberry Pi and kind of NVIDIA. Pink FPGA and this kind of hardware where they guys have introduced, especially Jivarajan sir, I think you guys have know, know about him. And I got an opportunity to work on a project which is Autonomous Robot with the Jivarajan sir, where we both have worked on Autonomous Robot Design by using Robotic Operating System. I used to work on Raspberry Pi part where I worked on like robotic operating system interfacing on Raspberry Pi, installing ROS on Raspberry Pi and interfacing LIDAR with uh, the ROS. And I used to work on that part where I need to stream the LIDAR package to the MATLAB via any Bluetooth, any, uh, sorry, ROS communications. And Jiva sir, what he will do is he will try to receive the packets from the ROS uh, communication from the MATLAB. And he used to work on, we both used to work on the applications like um, uh, mapping, uh, path planning, uh, path following. So this kind of, this, that is the project which we have worked on. That is Autonomous Robot. And uh, so this is what, and uh, in between, I just started, I just a little bit, I've just worked on the leap motion itself. It is like kind of little bit like uh, augmented reality uh, kind of application. So we have already already having this hardware. So this is like 
uh, where few people can able to interface with the real world so it is uh, like a super cool hardware so i just uh, started working on this as well so this is what the leap motion controller where i have okay so world class hand tracking for any more anywhere and leaps optical hand tracking and module capture the movement of your hands with and parallel accuracy and near zero latency so this is what uh, so you just see here so this is why the pro this is what uh, the hardware also we, we have worked on so while talking about the Pantech solutions guys we used to have lot of technology we have worked on we have worked on brain computer interface and this kind of uh, reality concepts and artificial intelligence embedded system uh, iot and um a uh, lot of technology we have worked on so this is this is also a one kind of hardware which i have used before previously so this is what the leap motion itself so likewise uh, in between i used to work on a lot of different kind of hardware and that google pi yesterday we have explored right so that kind of projects is also i have worked on before so likewise my journey is like this right so brain computer interface embedded system and little bit on uh, yeah iot and uh, this data science concepts and uh, with that i also have uh, somewhat experience on working with artificial intelligence based hardware and now i'm just currently on the working of um um what to say like like uh, developing uh, like uh, like autonomous robots yeah so that is what my current work on okay i hope you really like it okay if you really like it you just post i like this sanjay in your live chat okay uh, thank you so much, Varad. Uh, the session come course was conducted very smoothly, precisely. Thank you. Thank, uh, thanking all for the organization. Such a session uh, pandemic. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, Subhash, MATLAB. Yes, you can use, but uh, it is maybe cost you. So you can use a student version. Student version is also available. So you just download and you just install and you just subscribe for... Uh, student version so that you can you you can able to download the software packages based on their acceptance so please uh, just try to download and try to use that matlab itself okay uh pravalika i like that sanjay thank you so much varad thank you so much um uh, fakim khan thank you so much and Smriti Mehta, thank you, thanks a lot. Guys, do, do you guys have any other interesting questions? If you guys have any other questions, you just try to ask me the questions. Okay. Uh, Vindra Khanai, uh, can you quickly contrast AI machine learning and deep learning? There is overlap and it can get confusing when trying to understand its planning. It's simple. Okay. While talking about the data science, okay, so while talking about the data science, it is going to cover up the concepts or the data which you currently have, with the help of the data, you are going to make a decision. So on the making decision, that decision making, which is going to be done with the help of some of the concepts like machine learning. So under the machine learning, we have the categories like deep learning. Okay. So it is, uh, and while talking about the artificial intelligence, it is, so, so while talking about the artificial intelligence in specific, there is a two kinds of artificial intelligence. One is strong AI and another one is a weak AI. A uh, strong AI, which we used to still, the world is working on to build a strong AI because it is not up to now because it is like uh, the artificial intelligence, which we are used to saw in movies like Terminator, uh, Enderin, iRobot, so X Machina. So these are all the robots, uh, uh, the AI, which is coming under the side of strong AI, where it is learning automatically without any human uh, humans uh, involvement. Okay, so that is what the strong AI, whereas while talking about the weak AI, the artificial intelligence application, which is specifically focused for one specific application. So for autonomous vehicle, for detecting the Persian light uh, lane, so just only focused on one application. That kind of applications are known as a weak AI. And then while talking about the artificial intelligence, we used to have different methodologies, methodologies for working with different kinds of data even. So for an example, if you really want to, if, you, if your data is having a lot of features, okay, so, so with the help of that features, you are going to predict something. So you can go for a machine learning algorithms for working with different kind of applications. So for an example, on that machine learning, we have different kind of learning methods like supervised, unsupervised reinforcements. So based on the data which you are providing or what kind of results you are going to give. For an example, if you want to tell whether this is a mobile or pen, then need to go for the classification. When this is, um, when you need to predict 
what is going to be the stock value of tomorrow so then you need to tell uh, you need to go for the regression based algorithm and if you want to classify this person versus this person you need to go for the uh, unsupervised learning so likewise we used to choose different kind of methods whereas this machine learning and then deep learning while talking about the deep learning it is automatically it is going to helpful it is going to be helpful for extracting the features and it is also mainly focused on handling the image data and nlp with the help of uh, ml it is going to be helpful for handling the audio and then text based uh, data okay this text based text based data okay so here while talking about the ml and the dl by using the data it is going to give you the results in terms of uh, classes or in terms of some values maybe like numbers even so to like to represent it as a prediction results so this is what is all about whenever you are talking about ai where you are making that to be autonomous okay so automatically it is going to gain some intelligence from the certain data which we are providing even though you are if you are talking about what is it like uh, the robot uh, which which is already uh, uh, launched uh, in our day so so if you guys are remember that robot names you just post your answers in the live chat i'll give you the clue the robot which interacted with will smith and the robot which has been called as like a humanoid robot and yeah so that is the robot that is a hint okay if you know that robot's name you just give your answers in the live chat while talking about that robot that robot can able to uh, see the person and it can give some emotions and it can listen and it can give some reply based on the questions which you have present so while talking about that robot it is a combination of different kind of algorithms it is not you can you can't call uh, you can you can't call this program sorry this uh, robot which has been developed with the help of a uh, machine learning algorithm which has been developed only the deep learning algorithm you definitely you can't uh, you can't tell that because that robot which is having every ability which is doing automatically where it is having vision ability where it is having listenability listening ability where it is having replying ability where it is having moving a uh, moving ability So likewise, it is having different kind of abilities. Where, where we have dumped every different concepts, every different concepts in the sense for vision, we have used the deep learning. Where it is observing the person, where where it is observing the moving object which is out there. So that is what the first part. Whereas there is a second part where to listen to the speakers who are all speaking in front of that robot. So what kind of uh, what kind of what kind of question is? it's simple like um uh, like if person is asking some question with the help of the microphone yes sino has and given the first answer sofia thank you so much for giving the answer that is sofia yes it is listening so it is going to listen something and based on the questions or based on the thing it has listened then it is going to give the reply uh, for the person who has have asked the question uh, arpan please don't do the spamming definitely you'll get a, a certificate don't don't do the spamming okay Yes, so it is going to form the reply where it may use the natural language processing as well as the machine learning uh, machine learning algorithm for doing that. Okay, so it is a combination of uh, so while talking about that kind of artificial AI robot, simply we used to call this like a AI robot. Well, it may use different kind of concepts or algorithms like machine learning algorithms, deep learning algorithms, or NLP kind of feature extraction method. Okay, it is going to be varied. Okay, so that is all about here. Guys, do you guys have any other questions? which is about uh, any technology you can ask okay so uh uh david mama sir what is your personal point of view about the coming near future technology ai or like like fully conscious ai um actually uh, so I, i don't have that much idea about that uh, but uh, my my aspect is apart from uh, uh, enhancing the uh, robots to perform uh, very great than a human being we also have other team which is working on brain computer interface technology to enhance the humans also so to increase the memory power to solve the brain disorders so our other field is also working on that so it is a combination of artificial intelligence and brain computer interface technology where they used to develop uh, the technology which can able to enhance the human brain as well but while talking about the artificial intelligence aspects of course based on the elens uh, code and based on the uh, stephen hawking's code definitely at any point of instant okay for an example you just imagine we are in the uh, 
okay so so we are in the uh, we are in the year of 2000 where developing artificial intelligence robots are very easy very got familiar which is open source where each and every people can can able to build a uh, build a uh, what is a strong ai so if that is the condition you just imagine definitely in each and every people there will be a villain accidentally if the people are creating a robot which is going to do the bad things or that they are creating one kind of automatically thinking robot if if the certain scientist accidentally created one robot which it can think automatically like a strong ai very strong ai so you just imagine the uh, a problem which we are going to face okay it can multiply okay so you just try to think is this uh, it, it is the most popular stephen hawking to quote if accidentally if one of the human being built one robot okay built one ai robot or ai computer or a ai intelligence where if the person taught that ai computer or ai machine or ai robot to build or to multiply or to create another ai robot so you just try to follow me guys if one human being accidentally built one ai program to multiply or to create another ai program automatically by itself what is going to be the scenario definitely it is going to create a major problem right so that is why definitely we can't stop uh, what is it the, definitely we can't stop the uh, technological development and those stuffs only way is to do is we need to handle it in a safest way even though the facebook's artificial intelligence like bob and then alice with uh, which which spoken to each other so you can see that news also uh, i think it happened on 2017 or 2018 So on the time they try to decode what that two AI bot talked with each other. So on the time they can't able to decode what is the messages. So simply what they what they just did is they just uh, complete they just uh, temporarily they sh- they just uh, shut down that two artificial intelligence. So that is what we did. Okay, so that is the only way. So whatever the technology which is going to be, we really want to know how to handle or how to handle those kind of uh, uh, like what is it. we need to handle how to use it in a safest way a uh, samrat please don't do the spamming guys again and again i'm telling you i'm spending the time for interacting with you okay please don't do the spamming otherwise you will be banned from the youtube channel guys okay so please ask your questions like because i i, I can't able to read the questions if you are if your question is really a technical question i can give you the answer so you can contact our team for certificates and those steps so i am already telling you so it may take around like uh, t- one week to uh, uh, 10 days to send you the certificate okay so don't uh, spam me guys guys is there any other questions Uh, Vindra, can I? Where can we get good quality website or regular uh, news and example application about AI, ML, ML? Wonderful, Vindra, can I? Thank you so much for asking. Because uh, on our first first AI master class series, I think which is, which has been happened before one year, I think. So now you are attending the repeated version of AI master class where we have created the first AI master class series where we have given daily artificial intelligence news. Okay, each and every day I used to give one artificial intelligence news on each and every day. So for that updates, you can go for a lot of website. So this is the uh, Verge, the Verge dot com. So here you can able to get a uh, lot of artificial intelligence uh, news, guys. Okay, see here. So Elon Musk uh, here, uh, Neuralink is hiring a new uh, clinical trial uh, director. Okay, so likewise you can uh, you can so so you see here. So in the tech here we have AI. so you can click this and you can go for it okay so i'll j- i'll give you the link in the live chat you can check the updates regarding any ai news the state of ai in 2019 the real world ai issues the blog will be super cool and it is the site is also really looking good so there are news for ai summarizing scientific research for 7 year olds ai dungeon creators are launching an experimental ai powered game platform adels concept stands are converts your chicken scratch to digital text Okay, algorithm that detect cancer can be fooled by hacked images. So likewise, the news will be super cool. So this is the one kind of website, and I have another website. I I forgot the name. Okay, give me a sec. 
Uh, yes, artificial intelligence hyphen news dot com. So this is the another website you can check it out. So where you can uh, know about any artificial intelligence uh, news like DeepMind co co founder Mustafa departs Google and AI bias harms over a third of business. Eighty one percent age want more regulations. Why AI needs human intervention? So Nokia deploys AI video analytics to improve rail crossing safety and Tesla bot. I think you guys already know about the Tesla bot. Uh, this is world news, I think. And NVIDIA attempts to elevate ARM merger concerns in CMA response. Data analytics uh, centrality to F1 raising. The micro AI showcasing host of AI security products at uh, Las Vegas. NVIDIA Canvas uses uh, GAN2 AI model to achieve 4x resolution boost. You just see here resolution boost which is happening there. Okay, so likewise you can see the news from these two websites. It is also super cool. One is theverge.com and another one is artificialintelligence-news.com. Okay. Yeah. Guys, is there any other questions, guys? I'll go previously for any other questions which is out there. Guys, is there any other questions? If you guys have any other questions, please raise your questions in the live chat. I think you guys have enjoyed today's session. If you guys really enjoyed today's session, you just post. I super enjoyed Sanjay in your live chat. And since today is the last day, I really have, I really need a favor from you guys. Uh, what is the thing is, uh, you can give me the uh, values in uh, two uh, ways. So one way is to send a video testimonial. So what does mean by a video testimonial is nothing but you just turn on your selfie camera and what you just simply do is you can send uh, the recording. So send the recordings in the sense you can talk about the sessions which you have crossed this uh, 30 days. Okay, so to this number. So 7305. 5845758. So this is the number. Okay, I'll give you give the number in the live chat. So what you just simply do is uh, you just send the video testimonial to this number. Okay. So you just uh, turn on your selfie camera and you just speak about the course. Okay. So what is the experience which you have gathered? What are the knowledge which you have got from this uh, courses? Okay. So 7305845758. Okay. This is the number. So to this number, you just record a video and you just send to this number via telegram or uh, or uh, anything, any medium. So like telegram or WhatsApp. WhatsApp means it is not going to be good. But instead you just send uh, your video testimonial to this number so that it is going to be published on YouTube as well. Okay. So please send it guys. If you are going to send this uh, video testimonial, you just post. I will Sanjay in your live chat. And the second favor which you really want to do it for me, which was like posting a Google reviews. Uh, what you just simply do is you just type uh, Google Pantech Solutions in a Google and you just click that uh, 10,000. So that reviews and click here, create our uh, uh, review. So you just click that and uh, write a review. Like it is a, like a paragraph kind of review we really need. Okay. So, so that is what, uh, what we just want to give. Okay. So here, what you just want to write is we just want to uh, like, what is it? We just want to write a paragraph kind of reviews. Okay. So you just want to write a paragraph kind of reviews like this. Okay. You just post your reviews guys. Okay. So, so, so some kind of negative messages definitely is there, which is regarding a certificates and which may regarding some of the normal stuffs. But other than that, if you really feeling this session, which is going to be completely interactive for you, and this really serves a value, which really given a value for you, please give you the, give the Google reviews guys. Okay. Tulara Mama, thank you so much for posting. I will Sanjay. Okay, so thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for attending this 30 days of series and uh, I really feeling very thankful for you and if you really guys have any product or project related queries, please visit panicsolutions.net and if you guys haven't followed me, you can also follow me through the LinkedIn. My LinkedIn link is also given in the description below and you can also follow us on the Instagram and other social medias too. And thank you so much, guys. Thank you once again. Uh, thank you once again for the people who guys have attended 30 days of series, 30 days of AI masterclass series. I'm really gonna miss you guys. Uh, no worries, no problem. I uh, even machine learning masterclass is going on and data science is also going to be uh, conducted soon. Okay, don't miss out that opportunity and click that and register for that internship and be part of the live session again because uh, 
the coming data science 30 day series is going to be the last 30 day series because hereafter we are not going to provide a 30 day series like machine learning or artificial intelligence or deep learning definitely we are not going to provide that hereafter so what you just simply do is this is going to be our last ai 30 day series okay so that is a data science ai 30 day series so if you really want that you just click the link which i've given in the instagram as well so please go for the instagram and click for our uh, the link which has been posted on the my uh, bio link i think so you just click that link and register for that internship which is going to be happen on 27th of uh, february 27 or 26 okay so so i hope definitely it will be helpful for you guys i'm repeating you again uh, this is going to be the last opportunity to uh, participate on the free event and other than that if you really want to be part of our internship you can click that uh, link which is given in the live chat to register three in the code three in one courses at the price of triple nine so you are the last batch so you just click that link and register for the internship to get three courses at the price of triple nine guys okay so thank you so much thank you so much once again for the every people who spread it positivity in the live chats who, uh, who who made a very good interaction on the live chat because with the help of your interaction i'm just getting an energy from you so thank you so much guys thank you once again and thank you so much mutalakshmi ma'am thank you so much sadhana babu thank you so much varad akulkarni thank you so much guys thank you so much kalai and thank you so much brinda uh thank you thank you so much once again guys it's me sanjay signing off until then okay so inturi not satisfied sanjay with the ending speech <laughs> okay so it may be regarding like pitches or something like that okay so no worries okay don't spread negativities please spread always a positive messages in the live chats and those stuff thank you so much Shirap, for your love and support so thank you so much guys thank you once again thank you so much it's me sanjay signing off until then bye we'll see you on the next series